I've got it connected, um, but not powered up. That's just the red light showing that it's charging. So just press the red button briefly to turn it on in USB mass storage device mode. All right, just wait a second or two and it will appear on the desktop. There we go. And this is a brand new one, no track logs on it. Uh, just the uh, config file there. Right, um, I've downloaded it earlier uh, in my downloads folder. XE Tracer 2RO5.iap. There's the file there, uh, the device. So I can just drag that onto there. That's copied. Let's check it's on there. You can see it's on there. Now all you do, press and hold the red button for about a second. Let go. So that's installed it. Now if you just wait, it will reboot. Then it will mount on the desktop again. Yeah, there it is. And you can see that the uh, IAP firmware file has gone. That means it has installed. If you actually look in the config file, however, it will still say RO4. That only gets updated once you have um, turned it on in flying mode. So let's just do that quickly. So just brief press to disconnect. Right, that's disconnected. Unplug it and then turn it on in normal flying mode. A longer press this time till it beeps. Right, it's only now that the config file will get updated. Right, uh, let's just turn the sound on briefly to check it's all working. That's good. Turn it off. That's off. Connect it up again. There we go. look in the config file and this time we can see up here RO5 so there we go that's it all good to go final little short press to disconnect happy flying <laughs>